What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new tweak called CC Quick Pro. Now this is the paid version of CC Quick and it's added some features that you're probably going to like. So let's go ahead and jump into the settings here and before we actually change anything up, obviously this is what our control center looks like. That plain old boring iOS 7. Well, it's not really that boring, but it can look a whole lot better, especially with CC Quick Pro. So the first thing we want to jump into here is status bar gestures. Now basically all that this does is add some activator gestures to your status bar. So you can see if you swipe right right here, it's going to lock the device anywhere. So if we do that, let's try that again, and it's going to lock the device. So let's unlock it again, open this back up, you also have swipe left to go to the home screen. If you're in an application, if you're on the home screen, when you swipe left, then it's going to lock the device. Also, you have double tap to open up multitask and hold to take a screen capture. So if we double tap, you can see it opens up the app switcher. And if we tap and hold, it's going to take a screenshot. So that's actually pretty cool. I enjoy that. So I'm going to leave all these on. And of course, we have this right here. It goes to the home screen if we swipe left one more time then it's going to lock the device so let's unlock one more time here and jump back into the settings now if we go back we have hide sections down here so this is basically CC hide right here in this little tab so you can hide anything that you want in the control center so if we bring that up what I like to hide the most is the media control because I think they just look clunky in there they make everything look cluttered so I don't really like it in there so I'm gonna turn hide the media control section and you can also hide the media control section while it's not in use so if you're playing music then it's going to hide it if it's not playing music then it will hide it so you just have to toggle that on to do that so if we swipe up again there are now no more uh, music controls right there you can obviously hide everything else basically the settings the brightness the air stuff and the quick launch section so if we open that up nothing there but you could just use it for a little quick launch app switcher down here if you wanted to do that as well the way that I like it is having everything in there except for the media control center so this is the way I like it so let's go back and now we're going to go to background color so if you were anticipating that new tweet coming out fancy it's right here in CC quick pro so you can see the background color if we just toggle that on and we swipe up you get a completely new color for your control center and you can change this up with these red green and blue sliders right here so if we wanted a green one we'll just move all that down and you can see it has a green tint and with the alpha down here, the further you move it to the right, you're going to see that you get a more accented color. And if you move it to the left and swipe up, there's not going to be any color. So I'm going to move it right here. Let's go with blue for right now. And you can get a ton of different color just by messing with these sliders. As you can see, a real light blue. You can even get, this is like a purple color or pink. Let's move this down. I kind of like that color. So we're going to leave it like that. All right, so let's jump back here, and now we can go into the quick launch section. So this is going to be the toggles that are going to be at the bottom of your control center, and you can change these out. So you can see right here we have Siri, Reboot, Lock, Multitask. If you want to rearrange these, then you can do so. So you can see the first one right here is the flashlight. If we want to switch that up, you can see now that the clock is the first one. And let's just say we wanted to disable some of these. We don't want some of these in the... Uh, control center right there so I don't want the home one in there because I always use the home button and if we let's change the lock button we don't want that in there so all you have to do is drag these to not include or uninclude as this says uh, right down here and the toggles are not going to be in there so if we swipe back up you're not going to see a home button anywhere and you're not going to see the lock button anywhere alright so now let's go back here and go to multitask and the first thing I want to show you is you're able to multitask here. So if you just want to jump into an app, you can see it opens up just like that. And it has that nice little animation where it goes to the app switcher and then brings you into the app. Now you can change this by going into your settings here and you can turn off that animation if you don't like that. So if we swipe up and then we swipe over to the app switcher and we tap on this, it's just going to animate like that rather than going to the app switcher beforehand. So let's go back to the settings here. So if we swipe up right here and we go back to the apps, you can actually swipe up on these and it goes away just like that. So it has that nice little animation. 
So up here you can actually kill all the background running apps. And you can do so, let's go ahead and open up some more apps here real quick. And it's actually really simple. All you need to do is tap and hold on the apps down here and it's going to kill all of the apps. So let's just tap and hold and you can see it killed all the apps. So if we open up the app switcher, nothing there. Now I gave you that little animation. You can turn that animation off right here and what it would do is just completely get rid of the apps without having any type of animation. So let's just open up a few and let's open up the control center and tap and hold and then they're completely gone so you don't have any type of animation with that so let's jump back into the settings again and here we have kill self which basically if you toggle this on then whatever app you're in when you kill all the background running apps then it's going to kill the app you're in as well also kill music if you have that toggled on then it's going to kill music even if you're playing it Otherwise, if you have this toggled off and you are playing music and you kill all the background running apps, it's not going to get rid of the app so the music will keep playing in the background. So that's pretty much it in here. Let's jump back here. Also right down here at default page, you can change this from CC Quick Pro, which usually right here, you're gonna have these toggles right here. You can change it to the multitask. So it's gonna give you all the open applications right when you swipe up if you wanna change it to that. So CC Quick Pro has a lot to offer. I definitely recommend checking this out. It is an awesome tweak. You can get it for $2.99 in the Big Boss repo. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com. <laughs>